Logistics, the backbone of global trade, is running into a major problem. So on the one hand, the volumes that are shipped around the world are ever increasing through trends like e-commerce or globalization, whereas the logistics companies that have to execute this task are not finding drivers anymore. So that the next step for keeping up with this trend would be automation. Our vision is to um, make logistics truly driverless. Teleoperation is the remote control of vehicles. For this, we are basically transmitting video streams over public internet to an operator station. The operator can watch those video streams and then control the vehicle based on that information. The whole logistics industry has several problems. Um, the main one is driver shortage in the future. Also, one of the other problems is uh, efficiency losses due to driver waiting times. And the third problem would be it's very competitive space and the margins are very low. So the companies already uh, sometimes even work on a loss. They don't even make profit. And um, these all three problems can be solved with the operation. Um, Fanride is a technology company. Our technology is based on more than 10 years of R&D at the Technical University of Munich. And when we founded the company in 2019, we were looking for the right application for our technology. When we talked to the logistics customers, we found out that logistics is a perfect application for our technology since they have a massive problem and we can start with solving a portion of the problem already today by starting on sites with trucking that works already today and can scale from there to more applications over time. We have a very good human-machine interface, so making the, increasing the situation awareness of the operators is a core aspect of our technology, so we put a lot of focus on sensor fusion algorithms and making a really usable human-machine interface. I think we had a lot of challenges in the past, but for example, mobile internet wasn't so good, but now with 5G this technology becomes um, actually feasible. So problems we had in the past are not a problem anymore. Our vision is to make a driverless future for everyone. So this is really the rather bigger aspect of where we want to be in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years time to um, provide a mobility that is safe, uh, that is green and that is accessible for everyone.